the reason I do what I do, I enjoy a role of leadership and trying to find new ways to allow our organization to interact with government and to interact with other civil society partners and to interact with the private sector. It allows me to understand the psychology of the people that I work with and the people who we deal with in such a way that we can work towards the best solution. Partially I do it because I want to tell stories and I do see myself as a storyteller and, and that's why I love telling the stories of people on the ground. I do what I do because it hasn't been done the way that I do it. I do what I do because of my own experiences. I do what I do because of the challenges that I faced when I was going through university. And the main core role of 1828 is to ensure that higher education remains an attractive and necessary tool for young women. And I do this because I want to give young women in this country a sense of hope and a sense of purpose. I also, I think, do it for some fairly selfish reasons because I love the buzz, I love the adrenaline, and there's nothing better than a breaking news story. The future of the youth of South Africa is very bright. If we consider the initiatives that are taking place, the initiatives that young people are pioneering, then it does give one a sense of hope. I do think the future is bright. Uh, I think there's a real concern that there is a degree of apathy amongst the youth, and I think we saw that in the elections, that a large portion of the youth didn't bother to go out and vote, and didn't bother to want to have a say in the future of their country. But I think at the same time, I'm really encouraged and inspired by the fact that a lot of the youth seem to be achieving more far younger and far earlier. The, the situation in South Africa is such that we have massive amounts of opportunity and we have resources available, and that lives side by side with complete and utter poverty and destitution and, and desolation in terms of available opportunities. I like this country because it's a cultural melting pot. I like this country because people are at last willing to engage one another culturally and step out of their comfort zones. I think I love the diversity and the character of the country, its complexity. But I think what I love most about it is our ability to laugh at ourselves. Because we're always the first to poke fun at ourselves, whether it be serious, whether it be not. And I think that's what gives us that truly unique kind of character. We're a very new democracy. And this means that we can find innovative and new ways of working with each other and with the various sectors to create a better society. In a way we, we've got a blank slate but we've still got enough infrastructure to build on and that provides a very unique opportunity in South Africa to do something new. And what I love about this place is the fact that there's so much optimism despite the fact that we have a lot of things to be concerned about, a lot of things that cause us frustrations. People are looking to the future with hope and that's something that excites me. Being one of the 200 young South Africans to take to lunch is a real honour and a real privilege. I feel a little bit shy about being selected as one of the 200 young South Africans. It's a huge honour for me to be chosen as one of the 200 young South Africans. <laughs>